Hey, hey, good morning, Western Conservative Summit. Let's go, all right. Hey, it's okay, I'm here, right, because I'm from West Virginia, right? It's all right, is that good? Hey, I'm excited. I'm, a, I'm coming back to Colorado next weekend due to the homeschool conference, so maybe I'll see some of you all there. Yeah, homeschoolers, right on. You know, it is, it is a blessing for me to be here with so many faithful and faith-filled patriots. Would I be right in assuming that you're here because you care about the future of our country and that you want to do something to leave America better than you found it? That's good. Good. So let me ask you something. When you think about what is right in America, what comes into your mind? So let me guess. Y'all were thinking about education, right? Education, that's what's right in America. That's going good. We want to keep on doing what we're doing because we like what we're getting. Is that right? I can't see. Is anybody? Okay, I guess I'm in the right room. That's good. So thinking about education, how would you describe education in the United States of America today? <laughs> would government monopoly, factory style, top down, one size fits none come to mind? People say that culture is upstream from politics. Well, if education is upstream from culture, shouldn't doing something about it be at the very top of the list of our priorities? It's at the top of my list. After 200 years of compulsory government-run, top-down, one-size-fits-none education, I think that people are ready for something different. Are you? All right. Friends, that means we have an incredible opportunity to dramatically reshape education in the United States of America. I have been fortunate to travel the world advocating for educational freedom because I believe that it is essential, foundational, fundamental to a free society. And to my mind, educational freedom means this, that families decide by whom, how, where, when their children are educated without government interference. Yeah, you can clap for that. Our vision at the Yes Every Kid Foundation is to design, advocate for, implement, and defend the people and policies that empower families to freely discover and choose educational opportunities that respects each child's individual dignity and that meets each child's individual needs. Is that a vision you can agree with? All right, that's good, we, we got something in common. For this to happen, we have to agree that families know what is best for their children. We have to trust people and return decision-making power to families. Friends, we cannot just mess around the edges of this thing. We need a completely different approach. Would you agree with me? Okay. We need to create a marketplace with real competition, with families and children being treated as customers, not just per pupil funding units. And when we do this, we will unleash the potential of millions of families and children and educators to create a better future for our country. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. In case you didn't notice, I'm a little excited about that. <laughs> because I see momentum. Big Mo is on our side. What do I mean by that? A dozen or more states just this year, this has been happening over the last decade or so, Arkansas, Iowa, Florida, Utah, Nebraska, Montana, South Carolina, among others, have taken major steps to put more power in the hands of families. But there is opposition, and we need to defend those policies. I see momentum because I see people homeschooling in record numbers. Yeah, all right, homeschoolers. I'm a homeschooler. My wife and I, we've been homeschooling for 25 years with our seven kids. Just got our first grandkid. Yeah. Uh, people are starting micro schools, learning pods, learning collaboratives in their basements, in their backyards, in civic centers, in strip malls, in churches, even out in the middle of the woods. We need to support and reinforce these education entrepreneurs. These trends reflect what is one of the greatest character traits of our country. When Americans see something that needs to be done, we do it. And yes, we believe that you should not have to ask for permission to do what's right for your kids. My friends, I see a bright future for our country if we invest in this vision for education. We can leave America a better place than we found it. So if you agree with this vision, 
You agree with this vision? If you agree with this vision and you want answers to questions like, how are we going to do this? What's it going to take? What does it mean to transform education? What's getting in our way? How can you be involved? Join me this afternoon at 315 in room four. That is 315 this afternoon in room four. And we're going to talk about this bright future that's coming fast. Working together, we can get it here faster. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.